guys. John is busy getting some stitches removed from a little cancer that he got from sunburn on his ears. Well, I'm out here by myself today. I'm heading out to reef number six. Six. <laughs> a little rough to start out with. We'll get out here and I know we'll get something nice. I'll try to put the cams down on the bottom. Maybe we can get some bottom action too to see what's down there. All right, I'll get back to you. This is April 2nd, Thursday, 2015. All right, guys, I am out here. First bait down, got me this little ruby lips. I'm going to cut them up for bait. Hopefully catch something bigger. And you know, I know that there's some grouper out here that are legal size. I saw my buddy catch one one time. Maybe I can catch me a grouper for a change. That's on my list. This could be a real fish. Caught a bunch of, yeah, a little black sea bass. I've come out to the black sea bass spot what was that last year first little guy first little guy all right I got a ruby tail on this one if I can get a bigger black sea bass all right same pole same hunk of ruby lips feels like about the same size fish maybe a little bit bigger yeah a little bit bigger but still not of the grade I need but getting closer I'll measure him before I throw him back though. I am gonna measure him just to know. Just to know which way to go. 11 and 3 quarters. Yep. Boy, this feels like the porgy shake. This feels like the porgy shake. Oh, oh, oh. That feels like a shark or uh, Goliath grouper shake right there. Or a barracuda. Daggone it. Daggone it. Have me a nice porgy, I know it. Now I got a big old shark or a Goliath grouper. Oh! Yep. Dang, gone! Ah. Well, this could be another porgy or oh, red snapper. Caught one red snapper. I'm not peeling line off now. I hope that Goliath doesn't come up and consume him. Well, he must be a red snapper. I'm gonna say red snapper. Or a lane snapper. But snapper nevertheless. The red snapper. Snapper. Get crowded out here. Almost looks like the same one. Chad, don't you cut me. You cut me, big guy. I'll let you go. There you go. Well, I moved from that spot over there to this spot. Over there to this spot. The fella came up and parked right next to me. Just had something nice on, but he got off. Felt like a red snapper. Could have been a porgy. Try again. Well, let's see if I can catch this thing. Mm. <laughs> Should have got the hook in him that time. Whatever it is. He's got some bones in him. He's got some bones in him. Oh, hey, this could be a flounder. 
This could be a flatty. I don't know. This is one of those mystery fish. Oh, hey, look at there. Oh, man, this could be a nice big porgy. Yeah, come on. I need the skunk out of the boat. Oh, it's a porgy, all right, and it's a nice one. And it's a nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at there. Oh, man, that's a big old boy. Big, 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 big porgy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the skunk out of the boat with a great tasting fish. I will take him home, cook him up in a day or two. Yeah, he is 14 inches to the fork. Nice one, nice one. Yeah. Well, let me go back there and get another one. Well, I hope I keep this on. I've lost so many fish. I don't even care what it is. <laughs> I just want to keep it on. Oh, it's a little red snapper. Just a little red snapper. Well, that's all right. I'll take a little red snapper with nothing. Ooh, just about got me. Just about got me. But my cat-like response has got my hand out of the way before he cut the snot out of it. There you go. Yeehaw.